Hi all, Pathany Gunthano here, the Funyuns' busiest unemployed hipster. Shout out to the real Anthony Fantano who couldn't be here because he's stuffed in the trunk of my Subaru. Let's just say he had it coming after refusing to review my reviews. Now this week I'll be reviewing the sophomore album of Odd Future Wolfgang Killed Them All's resident lyrical genius Earl Sweatshirts I Don't Like I Don't Go Outside. Like the album implies, Earl raps and rhymes about everything he hates from none other than the outdoors to making money and being famous. Now this, this marks a big departure from Earl's early work where he rapped outside in the cutthroat Los Angeles suburbs, skateboarding and making weirdos on the internet not feel bad for being like the way they are. Now, however, there's more of that two chord, sinister, sinewy production that 16 year old crust punks can continue to smoke weed to on this LP. And it's great in doses. Now here Earl spits bone chilling bars that get right under your nose and crawl into your brain. And frankly, it's pretty fantastic. No joke, this album guys will get you messed up. You'll surely want to gamble your student loans and pick up a coke habit because your mom doesn't really understand why you don't try hard in school. Earl has found his own voice, finally, which is impressive because longtime fans should also be relieved to hear that the rest of the Odd Future hate school, kill them all collective is nowhere to be found on the album. Now the first single, Grief, makes me want to sort of sit in a dark room and sway back and forth while thinking about the impact of Benghazi on foreign affairs. Does any one of my followers have a Zoloft hookup, by the way? One thing that really bothered me about the album is I had a, I had a bit of a problem with the grief music video. As a vlogger and, you know, online personality, it's my job to call that out. So, as a white guy, you know, I'm not 100 emoji about Earl and his pals, you know, donning, donning white face for this music video. The execution is pretty frankly terrible. The only good thing I can take away from this is that Earl looks like a slightly more attractive Iggy Azalea. Despite offending a long line of white people, you know, dead and alive, myself included, the album was really amazing. Like the rest of Earl's work. This is the type of album you wanna put on while walking to class and discovering yourself eight months into your freshman year. It's great, but you gotta be careful. This album does get a bit icy in the production and some of the themes, so you may wanna bring a coat. Now all that considered, I'd give this album a decent to hard 4.5 snowflake emojis out of five. Did you enjoy having someone tell you what music is supposed to sound like? Did you like the album? Did you hate the album? Tweet suggestions for our next hipster album review at Funyun Gang.